Hi guys, welcome to Piscator UK. Well, you join me this evening back on shore. As you can see, it's pitch black behind me, and yes, I'm having a night session doing a bit of sea fishing. And this is going to be the start of my winter sea fishing campaign. I'm on an open beach, and my target species is flounder. And I've got a mixture of baits, I've got some uh, pre made uh, wraps with black lug, heron and black lug and razor clam. I've also got some fresh ragworm and I've got some uh, sand deal which I may fill it and put them on the hook as well. I've got some mackerel as well which I'll probably use on its own as a separate fish bait. So the tide has just turned and I'm going to fish the full tide until high tide uh, which is going to be in early hours of the morning probably around about three o'clock and if you've not already done it make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next episode and future episodes. It's a bit breezy this evening, at least it's dry. There's been a few onshore storms lately, so hopefully it's kicked up the seabed a bit, pushed those fish in, and hopefully we get some you know, good bites. Today I'm just fishing sort of standard beach fishing tactics. I've got two rods. Uh, they're not really heavy beach casters. One's a surf rod, 11 foot. And one's actually a distance feeder rod, so quite light, and it's 12 and a half feet. I'm fishing the same rigs on each rod, which is one up, one down, or a Wessex rig. And most nudes on each rig have got size 2 Aberdeen hoops. I'll go through the rig, you know, just in case you haven't seen it before, just to show you what I'm using. And uh, I'll do that later on in the session as we get on. Lovely flounder. Get this unhooked, get it in a bucket to recover, and we'll have a look at it. Hey guys, I've been getting taps on the, the lighter rod. I'm going to bring it in in a minute. It's been quite slow after that first fish, probably an hour and 20 minutes without a bite. But it happened the last time I was at this beach. I got a fish straight after the turn of the tide. And all of a sudden it went quiet and it picked up about halfway through the flood tide. So maybe it's going to do the same. I'm going to get this rod in and see if there's anything on it. I'm getting pushed a little bit with the tide as well. The first ever or so I was getting pushed back all the time. And if I remember rightly it slowed down probably midway through the flood. I'm going to get this get this rod in. Nothing that time. Get some more bait on, get it back out. I may as well quickly go through the rig while I've got it in. So like I said, fishing one up one down Wessex rig. Top snood. Snood's probably about a foot and a half long. Uh, that's my fishing for flounder, got a bit of bling on there just for a bit of attraction and then two foot down little little bomb weight and then fishing below the lead I've got another snood uh, this is probably about 20 inches long and again a bit of bling Time a one up one down much like a two hook flapper but I put my bottom snood right at the bottom so that it's fishing below the weight. Really simple and it's effectively fishing a one up one down. Anyway, get this baited up, get it back out and see if we can get another flounder. It's time to bring the other rod in now. I had a couple of little taps at the same time on the lighter rod. Uh, but they weren't as severe as the, the lighter rod. Well, for the few slack lines, so maybe there's one on it. Tiny little flounder. <laughs> Perfection in miniature. It's quite deep hooked this one, and I'm getting pushed with the tide, so I'll get it in the bucket, and I'm going to move back. Hey guys, just a little bit of an update. 
I've still only got the two fish and I'm halfway through the flood tide, three hours to go and it's been hard work, I've been just pushed back constantly uh, even getting a sweat on changing baits often, the bites are just not there just now I'm hoping that they're going to come on uh, pretty much like they did the last time I was here uh, which is about now, uh, up until high tide so yeah, I'm tired <laughs> it's uh, 12 o'clock and high tide's at 3 o'clock so yeah, 3 hours to go but yeah, I'm still enjoying it, it's, you know, back on the beach, it's been a while I've still got loads of bait left and I'll just keep plugging away now it's liven up a little bit another little one it's not a huge but at least they're biting and uh, those last two casts I've just lobbed it really short both rods look at that greedy little bait that was a huge bait not wide, just long, and it's took everything. <laughs> I'll get this unhooked and get back. I had some good bites here, but just didn't come to nothing. The bait was all over the place on the hook. Well, that's obviously why I didn't get a hook up. Probably eating it from the side or something. But yeah, the bites are certainly picked up just by lobbing it short. Probably casting maybe. 20, 25 yards at most. Seems to be doing the trick. Just going to keep cycling the baits. Nice fresh baits. I don't know if it makes much of a difference, but most of the wraps I've been putting on with ragworm have been the razor clam and black lug. And down near the low water, I forgot to say, picked up this beauty. Nice big razor clam. Just sticking out the sand. Hey, I wish I had some salt with me because tomorrow morning in the next session I would have certainly got some of them and probably done a catch and cook or something like that or a foraging cook or something or even collect them for bait yeah, we'll just stick at it guys a couple hours to go a little tip guys uh, if you're doing wraps so this is a a heron and black lug wrap and when you first put it on it does sit nice on the hook but it can tend to go around the hook and mask the hook so what I've come up with to prevent that is I don't know if you can see that but a tiny little bit of elastic band probably 8mm by 8mm and I just put that onto the hook push that up to the wrap and that helps prevent it from masking the hook so just a little tip when I'm using worms and all that I don't really bother because the worms are really soft and the fish will take it in its mouth no problem but because it's wrapped because I'm using wraps as well they're not as soft as worms and if they mask the hook they can pull the, the bait right out of the fish's mouth so that's what I've come up with. Give me your thoughts on that guys. Give it a try. Yeah, it's still banging away. Mental. Success! Well, it was a little flounder, guys. Lovely little fish.
know if you can see that, but it's got lovely orange spots in it. I'll get in the bucket and get a rest up. And get it chucked out. Half an hour to go. Hopefully time for another one. The session's, the session's turned into an all-bad session. Uh, the weather, the wind died away to nothing. And there's no real surf to talk about. Just a little bit hitting the shore. Uh, but yeah, it's been a lovely evening actually. Not too cold. I'll get this baited up. Baby little flounder just fell off. No wonder I was getting so many rattles. Must have been sucking on the bait. Time for another couple of casts. Fingers crossed, get something a bit better. Well, guys, that's high tide, and uh, it's been a no bad session. I think I've had seven, eight, nine, little flounder. The stamp's not been as good as what I'm used to in this beach. Uh, normally a bit better than that. A lot of small ones, but it's just been awesome being back on the beach, doing a bit of sea fishing. And like I say, this is the start of my, my winter sea fishing campaign. And uh, it's been an all bad way to kick it off. Not the best in terms of footage doing a night session, as much as I like night fishing, it's not the best for, you know, making a video. Uh, not much to see. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and if you like the video give a thumbs up, and be sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. See you next time on Piscator UK.